Lab is a blender add-on that allows you to fully utilize Blender's physics capabilities. With RBD Lab, you can create complex phases simulations, including fracturing objects, creating explosions, adding smokes and debris, and using advanced constraints. RBD Lab makes it easy to create complex physics simulations in Blender that were previously difficult or time-consuming to create. This add-on has a range of option panels and follows a linear workflow, allowing you to easily navigate through the various stages of creating good phases simulation. Now, let me list out a couple of features provided by RBD Lab. One will be realistic physical properties. You can set the mass, size, shape, and other physical properties of objects to affect their behavior in the simulation. Number two is going to be collision detection. RBD can detect when two objects collide and calculate how they should react to each other based on their physical properties. Number three is going to be forces and constraints. You can add forces such as gravity or wind to the simulation, as well as constraints such as hinges or joints to simulate more complex behaviors. Number four is going to be soft bodies. RBD also allows you to simulate soft bodies such as cloth or deformable materials. Number five is going to be animation baking. You can bake the simulation to a series of keyframes, allowing you to use the simulation result as part of an animation. Number six is going to be real-time visualization. RBD can run the simulation in real time, allowing you to see the results of your settings and adjustment as you make them. I have taken time to script a very short documentation on how to use RBD Lab in a Word document file. It's super easy to read and understand. Download link in the description below. Chaos is a blender add-on that allows you to create complex particle simulations with ease. It includes a range of tools for creating, editing, and controlling particle systems, as well as tools for creating and editing force fields. Now, let me list out a couple of features provided by the Chaos add-on for Blender. Number one is going to be particle tools. Chaos includes a range of tools for creating and editing particle systems in Blender. These are tools that allows you to create and control behavior of particles particles in your simulation, including options for setting their size, color, and velocity. With Chaos, you can create realistic simulations of fluids, gases, and other dynamic phenomena. Number two is going to be force field tools. Chaos includes tools for creating and editing force fields in Blender. Force fields are invisible objects that can be used to influence the movement of particles in your simulation. With Chaos, you can create force fields that simulate the effect of wind, water, and other natural phenomena, allowing you to create more realistic and dynamic particle simulations. Number three is going to be customization options. Chaos provides a range of options for customizing your particle simulations. You can choose from a variety of particle shapes, colors, and sizes, and you can also customize the behavior of particles using options such as gravity, wind, and turbulence. Overall, Chaos is a powerful and easy to use add-on for creating complex particle simulations in Blender. It includes a range of tools and customization options that allows you to create highly realistic and dynamic simulations of fluids, gases, and other phenomena. Cloth FX is a feature that allows you to simulate the behavior of cloth in a 3D scene. With Cloth FX, you can specify the properties of the cloth and add forces to the simulation, such as wind or gravity, to see how the cloth will move and interact with other objects in the scene. Now, to set up cloth FX simulation in Blender, 1. You have to select the objects you want to simulate as cloth. 2. In the Properties panel, go to the Phases tab and select the Cloth option. 3. In the Cloth option, you can specify the properties of the cloth, such as its mass, stiffness, and how it will behave when it collides with other objects. 4. To add forces to the simulation, such as wind or gravity, you can use the Force Fold options in the Phases tab. Once you have set up the simulation, you can press the Play button to run the simulation and see how the cloth behaves. Blender also offers a range of advanced options and tools for fine-tuning the behavior of the cloth and the appearance of the simulation, including the option for controlling the way the cloth folds and creases, and tools for sculpting the shape of the cloth and painting simulated cloth properties on
onto the mesh. Fluid simulation software can be intimidating, complex and difficult to work with, but this needs not to be the case. I believe that usability should come first when designing a simulation too. A simulator might contain the most advanced technology in the world, but if it's not usable, reliable or flexible, it would not be a tool that is useful or enjoyable to the artist. Flip Fluid Simulation is an add-on that helps you to simulate the behavior of fluids such as water and lava. It is often used in 3D animation and visual effect to create realistic simulations of liquids such as oceans, waterfalls, and lava flow. The simulator works by dividing the fluids into small particles or voxels and then uses physics-based algorithms to calculate how those particles should move and interact based on the forces acting on them. These forces can include things like gravity, surface tension, viscosity, and external forces such as wind or the movement of other objects. Flip fluid simulation can be computationally intensive as it requires a lot of calculations to simulate the behavior of a large number of particles over time. However, it is a powerful technique that can produce very realistic results when used correctly. Molecular Plus is an add-on for Blender that allows you to simulate the movement and interactions of atoms and molecules. It is based on the principles of molecular dynamics, which is a field of study that uses computer simulations to understand how molecules behave and interact. To use Molecular in Blender, you first need to install it as an add-on. Once it is installed, you can find it under the Simulation tab in the Properties panel. From there, you can set up your simulation by specifying the type of molecules you want to simulate and the type of force fields to use. There are several different types of force fields that you can use with Molecular, each of which is designed to model the interactions between atoms and molecules in a different way. Some common types of force fields include the Leonard Jones potential the Coulomb potential and the amber force field. Once you have set up your simulation, you can run it and visualize the result. Molecular Plus will simulate the movement of the atom and molecules over time, taking into account the forces acting on them. You can then visualize the results of the simulation to see how the molecules behave and interact. Molecular Plus can be a complex tool as it involves a lot of advanced phases and mathematics. However, it can be a very useful tool for those interested in studying molecular systems or creating realistic simulations of molecules. Okay, if you love this video and are interested in more Blender tips, add-ons, and other tutorials, kindly don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Until my next video, peace out.